as followers of Jesus, our hope and trust belongs to Jesus, not to politics. Our passage today shows the end result of the marriage of religion and politics, a flogged, insulted, and crucified Messiah. The religious leaders of Jesus' day had a love-hate relationship with the Roman government, much as religious leaders of today do with our governments. When the person or party we want to see in power is in power, we're all willing to go along with whatever they say or do. When the other person or party is in power, we're ready to decry everything that they do as anti-Christian. But over-reliance on our political actors to carry out our preferred version of the kingdom of God is the problem. Through political means, we convince ourselves that we can be our own savior and therefore we don't need Jesus. In those moments, we add our voices to those shouting for the release of Barabbas and the crucifixion of Jesus. 